What's up, fam? Thank you so much for tuning back into Earthlusters. We have a ton of information coming at you today, so fasten your seatbelts as we take you through the top 10 most beautiful countries to visit on a budget. As always, if you like the content that we make, please like and subscribe to our channel, and we are going to give you all the information that you want about this beautiful world we live in. Here we go. Number 10. Thailand is an incredible country with a tourist trail going back decades. As the heart of backpacking in Southeast Asia, you can get by on between $25 to $30 a day, thanks to cheap guest houses, food, local buses, and attractions. But if you spend all of your time on the islands and inexpensive accommodation, expect to pay closer to $50 a day. However, even at that price, Thailand is still one of the most bargain destinations in the world and should not be skipped. If you're short on time and budget for your Thailand trip, stay up north. Even in popular places like Chiang Mai and Pai, you can easily find basic dorms for less than $5. If you stick with eating street food, to each their own, but why eat pasta when you can have Pad Thai, am I right? Not only will you save yourself some money, the experience will be much more authentic and delicious too. As far as activities go, you really really don't need a lot of money to enjoy your day as most activities such as visiting the White Temple, hiking, or maybe gathering three people from your hostel to rent a car and go on some day trips, which at the end of the day all tend to be very affordable. Number 9. Guatemala Costa Rica is clearly the star tourist destination in Central America known for its abundant wildlife and highly developed ecotourism. But if you ask us, Guatemala deserves consideration as well. Hidden in its northern jungles are the Mayan temples of Tikal, a stunning sight especially at sunrise. Equally breathtaking is the highland lake of Atitlan in the south, ringed by volcanoes and quaint villages where the pace of life is delightfully slow. The country is covered in lush jungles, volcanoes, and ruins. Local food is delicious and cheap at about $3 for a full meal. Local transportation can be very cheap, but at times confusing and risky. The locals will typically take chicken buses, which are converted school buses from North America, and are the cheapest way to get around. Number 8. Indonesia Southeast Asia's wild frontier offers colossal volcanoes, thriving coral reefs, and vast rainforests. With over 17,000 islands stretching from the Malay Peninsula to Northern Australia, Indonesia is home to some 300 other languages and hundreds more cultures. Without these, Indonesia would be without its numerous UNESCO World Heritage Sites, such as the breathtaking Borobudur in Java and Bali's idyllic water temples. The tricky thing about Indonesia is that it can be cheap or it can be quite expensive depending on one big thing, transportation. Inner city traveling can be very time consuming and costly, so is traveling from one island to the other with a private boat. To save costs, stick with a region or two. There's a lot to do and see, and spending more time in one place will only allow you to travel deeper and have a more meaningful experience anyway. On the flip side, food and drinks are cheap throughout the country, not to mention absolutely delicious. Hostels are plentiful, social, and affordable. Number 7. China China's big cities have all kinds of fancy restaurants and hotels that can fit comfortably into your budget in a big way. But in a country this vast, you might need to get off the beaten path for a cheaper but more authentic experience. Think provinces like Sichuan, Dali, and Guangxi, where cheap accommodations, delicious street food, and unique experiences like having a barbecue with the locals or touring around on a bicycle can be completely free or very, very cheap. Even in major cities like Beijing and Shanghai, there are ways to cut your travel costs down. Hostels are a great value, perhaps the best in the world. And as always, if you stick to eating street food, you won't need to spend a lot of money to get by. What's expensive is inner city traveling, as transportation can run a bit more expensive at 20 plus for an eight hour bus and upwards from there. China is a huge country, and therefore moving around quickly and on higher classes of the train can add up fast. So to be a bit more gentle to your pockets, it might be best to choose one province and take in all that it has to offer. Number six, Turkey. As a transcontinental country, Turkey is packed with history, ancient monuments, and magic natural wonders. Connected to Asia and Europe, Turkey is located on the Anatolian Peninsula in Western Asia and the Balkan Peninsula in Europe. Navigating the breathtaking things to do and places to visit in the 81 provinces of Turkey never stops surprising us. For example, a hot air balloon ride. Although running costs around $200 to $300, it will surely take your breath away. Inner city traveling can tend to be a bit slow and costly, 
However, if you plan your route well, it's definitely possible, if not easy, to travel through Turkey on a budget. The stunning blue mosque in Istanbul, the breathtaking white travertines in Pamukkale, and the hustling bazaars all over the country are relatively affordable to enter. While the long-distance buses are expensive, if you plan well and take the overnight buses, you get to save on accommodation. If you're short on both time and money, just stick with a city or two, and Turkish food is delicious and cheap. Number 5. The Czech Republic As more and more tourists flock to the Czech Republic, or more specifically, Prague, for its rich history, prices have inflated over the last few years. However, it's still easily one of the least expensive Central European countries to travel in, especially if you go beyond Prague, such as Chesky Krumlov and Telch, to experience true Czech culture at a much lower cost. Local transportation is reliable and affordable, and if you plan to do a lot of traveling, consider getting a three-day pass for right around $16. Czech cuisine is very hearty and large in portion, while it's not the healthiest because most meals consist of potato and meat, it will surely fill you up so you can stretch your budget. Eat out at a local restaurant for lunch and have a light snack for dinner. Entrance fees to historical sites and museums can be quite expensive, somewhere around $18 for example to enter the Prague Castle, but you don't always actually have to enter. The hikes up to them are amazing, and you can always admire the beautiful architecture from the outside. Number 4. Bolivia Bolivia isn't for everybody, but if you're looking for a real South American adventure, on a budget nonetheless, this is the place to be. The altitude can be problematic for some, but you'll encounter a handful of long, winding roads off the beaten path and the adventures are endless. The salt flats and the death road bicycle trip are absolutely unmissable. The Amazon is largely untouched and the country is incredibly ethnically diverse. For things to remain cheap, you'd want to stick with the locals' lifestyle. For instance, you can get a three-course meal for less than $2 if you eat at a local hangout. The same goes for transportation and accommodation. That's if you take the local buses and walk into local guest houses instead of booking online. And mentioning the tours to places like the salt flats can be a little bit more on the expensive side, but we can assure you it's 100% worth it. Number 3. Bulgaria For cheap travel in Europe, very few places beat Bulgaria, an unassuming eastern country that remains very much off the beaten track. In summer, tourists from neighboring countries arrive in droves to enjoy the Black Sea for incredibly low prices. But the rest of the year, the country is quiet. That means no big crowds, no noise, and no inflated prices for accommodation, food, and entry to attractions. In fact, Bulgaria's most interesting destinations won't cost you a penny. Sofia, the country's capital, is an old city where you can see the Turk and Byzantine influence. But the real charm of the country can't truly be discovered until you step into the countryside. Here, little ancient villages sit next to imposing castles atop mountains. To make the trip even cheaper, you may want to skip the summer months when the beaches are crowded and the hostels raise their prices to take advantage of the short tourist season. Late spring and early fall are great times to visit instead. Number 2. Vietnam what else to say about Vietnam other than that it's among the cheapest Asian countries and one of the most highly underrated countries in the world? The famed Ha Long Bay is certainly impressive, but Vietnam is really at its best when you venture off the beaten track. Away from the crowded tourist sites, Vietnam has some of the most fun places in Southeast Asia. The northern province of Ha Zan is still as pure as it gets and the limestone landscapes at the Tom Kok are certainly not to miss. The town of Phong Na is a fantastic adventure tourism hotspot, home to the world's largest cave. The cost in Vietnam? Simply put, very low. Eat local and you'll struggle to spend more than a few dollars per meal, while locally brewed beers cost as little as 20 cents a glass. Hotel rooms offer incredible value, as little as $10 will get you a clean and comfortable place to stay. Number one pick for the most beautiful place to visit on a budget, India. If we were ever challenged to name a country more diverse than India, we'd have a tough time. Few places, if any, rival the sheer amount of tradition, cuisine, landscape, and religion found within India's borders. From the high Himalayas in the north, to the desert sands of the west, to the palm tree fringe rivers and islands of the south. The best way to travel through India on a budget is to book things yourself. This means no agents and no online booking sites may be except for some inner city travels. For that, check out To Go Asia. Keep in mind that cheap rooms that run in the $3 range will be very basic and it's normal to shower with buckets of heated water. 
All right, that caps us off today, guys. Thank you so much for visiting Earthlusters. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this page for more and more information coming out about this awesome world that we live in. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we can't wait to see you again. Earthlusters out.